Disability is a form of social security in the United States, otherwise known as SSD or SSDI. It grants the recipient income when they have a disability or injury that will prevent them from working and earning their wage as normal. In the United States, a disabling accident occurs every second. Because of the economic crisis, a greater number of workers are sustaining on-the-job injuries related to their work. Many qualify for disability benefits without realizing it. We have made this video as an easy how-to guide to apply for Social Security disability benefits. Why does this video exist? There are many secrets and tricks to applying for disability and Social Security benefits for injured and otherwise afflicted workers. Government sources do not make it available or understandable. One thing to remember is that disability claims are evaluated on the basis of your physical and mental impairments and are determined not by whether or not your condition causes disability, but by how much it keeps you from working. Keep this in mind as we review these steps. Why should I file? If you are approved to receive disability, you will receive a monthly subsidy from Social Security. Step 1. File immediately. Regardless of what anyone says, if you are currently disabled or injured, it is wise to see if you qualify for disability. The first step is to file right away. Disability claims take a very long time, sometimes many months to process, and the sooner you get it started, the better. The process begins by finding the Social Security office nearest you. Find your local security office by entering your zip code on this website. Take down their number and address. The application can be started over the phone, in person, or at the Social Security government website. You may be subject to an interview or hearing, and probably a mental examination. After you file, find out the status of your claim by calling the Disability Determination Services examiner assigned to your case. Usually calling the Social Security office repeatedly does nothing. If a representative of one of the branches reviewing your case says your application will be completed by a certain date, chances are it's just a guess. Also keep in mind that if rejected, an applicant can appeal to de denial by requesting an appeal within 60 days. They will send you forms to fill out in the mail, and you should return them promptly. Step 2. Leave nothing out and have documentation. Do not fail to list all conditions that impair your ability to work, either physical or mental. Make sure to mention anxiety or depression you may have suffered. Provide as much information as you can. Step 3. Get back up. One sure way to increase your chances of getting the statement of a doctor or physician willing to back up your claims and state you are legitimately unable to work or are otherwise impaired in your ability to work. Copies of your medical records help as well. Supply these with your application. Cooperate fully with the disability examiner. Keep in mind you will probably be denied. Social Security disability benefits have an 80 to 85 percent denial rate. File an appeal immediately after being denied. It has a 60-day limit. Step 4. Get legal representation. Get an attorney or non-attorney state representative as soon as you can. You will say, I cannot afford a lawyer. The fee for the representation is only paid after the case has been won. If it's not, there is no fee. But the lawyer will still charge you for an out-of-pocket expenses. For a disability case, a representative can charge one-fourth of whatever pay an applicant wins if their case is approved. However, this can only go up to $5,300 legally. If you get an attorney or representative, be sure to keep them fully informed at all times. Keep in mind that how badly you need the money will have almost no bearing on how quickly your case is processed. You can try to write what is called a dire need letter, which is a letter claiming that you cannot wait the normal amount of time for a hearing, or else it might have dire consequences for you. This means you must be in trouble to the point of foreclosure, eviction, or inability to pay for the necessities of life, or needed medication. Mention any threats to your health or home foreclosure before anything else. Attach a documentation, any documentation, that you can use to prove your case. Keep a copy on hand in case it is lost by your local office. Tips on increasing your chances. You can reapply when and if a medical condition worsens. Tell them everything. 
take all medication as prescribed by a doctor and make sure you follow all doctor's instructions. Don't make it easy for them to reject you. Make sure you have them updated on your current phone, email, and fax address. If you are taking care of a child or elderly person, be sure to mention this obligation. And call your congressman and ask them if they have any idea why your claim is taking so long, and if they endorse your application.